Hey, what's going on? I just wanted to do a, a quick overview of this case. This is the Fractal Design uh, 804 case. It's a micro ATX uh, case. And I just wanted to show um, it with a build. And so what we have inside is an ASRock X99M motherboard with a 5820K Intel processor. Also have an H100i uh, radiator, uh, water cooling, and an EVGA 780 uh, NVIDIA classified. Also has a um, EVGA 1000 watt G2 power supply. Um, and at the bottom, you can see that there are two, hopefully you could see that there are two and, uh, SSDs. So, this is how it looks like when you populate it with a computer. The case itself is really nice um, and good quality somewhat. Um, I actually will be RMAing it though because there are some strip screw holes and faulty um, power uh, wiring. This also doesn't have a reset button so um let's see what else is there so as you can see there's the uh, h100i you could fit it on the top but with this type of video card the only thing you could do is mount a fan in the front which is this it's 120 millimeter and uh, let's see the top looks like so um, this is a cube design, so there's two compartments. Uh, there's one compartment here for the motherboard um, and video card and everything. And there's another compartment back here where you could put your power supply and additional hard drives. Uh, the case itself comes with 320 millimeter fan. And that's this one side right here. It's windowed also. Now let's swing it over to the front. This is how the front looks like. Uh, and you can just snap it open. And in the front, there is another um, hard drive tray. You could put an additional hard drive. Actually, I think you could put two, two and a half inch hard drive um, right here. Two, two and a half inch hard drives probably you could fit in there. Um, or one three and a half inch hard drive. Uh, this side actually is a slim uh, optical slot loading drive bay. Um, this does not have a five and a quarter inch drive bay. So you're gonna have to use a slim optical slot loading for your optical drive. And there's some wiring there for the front USB 3.0 port. There's two of them and the power buttons on the other side and the front also has uh, dust filters for both sides right here and right here um, let's see what else is there let's swing to the back this is how the back looks like there's uh, 220 millimeter fans here and here power supplies down here go ahead and um, flip it to the other side so this is how the other side looks like um, this is where all of your wire management is going to be handled your cable management as you can see the bottom we have the um, thousand watt EVGA G2 power supply it's a little longer than um, some of the power supplies um, but it still fits and this comes with two hard drive bays one here that could hold I believe it's four three and a half inch or possibly five two and a half inch and another one here so with three and a half inch hard drives you could actually have eight uh, being held uh, with these two drive bays I just don't have the other one here because of all these wires in the way um, but behind this uh, hard drive bay there's another 120 millimeter fan right here and then there's another 120 millimeter fan in the front um, as you can see, most of the 
uh, cable management can be done here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick um, show on it. I didn't really do too good of a job at wire management, but as you can see, there is a space um, to do your wire managing. Um, what else is there? That's pretty much about it. Um, here, this is the side where you got two USB 3.0 ports, the power button, headset, uh, headphone jack, uh, microphone jack, and that's about it, really. Um, I tried to mount the um, radiator in the front, but as you can see uh, earlier, the video card was too long. So that ain't gonna work. So the only configuration for my setup with this tower is, um, or this case, is um, the radiator is top loading. And that's really about it. Um, really like fractal design uh, cases. It's just unfortunate that this may have been a part of a bad batch or something because a friend of mine and myself bought this uh, case last week and he had problems also. Um, I'm going to be going with the Define R5. Uh, I really like that series. I already have the Define R4. So I'm gonna exchange it for the Define R5. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick overview and show you guys what a build would look like in the Node 804. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great tower or a great case. Um, get great design. But um, I think I'm just going to go with a regular tower. So hopefully you liked a, this quick video, a quick overview, um, get you an idea on what a system would look like inside. Um, sorry for all the background noise, but my kids are still awake and I'm trying to do this video as quick as possible. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed it and um, let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.